What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, we're gonna be installing Stable Diffusion right on your own PC with Easy Diffusion. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. And speaking of thanks, huge shout out to Moni Dow for being a channel supporter this month. It really helps a lot and I really appreciate it. If you wanna support this channel, click on that membership button below. All right, now we're jumping right into Easy Diffusion. This is the absolute easiest way to install and use Stable Diffusion right on your own computer. Um, I'm on a Windows PC, but this works for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Um, it just is a one-click install. You're gonna click on Download for Windows, and it's going to download uh, Easy Diffusion for Windows down here. Once this is complete, we're just gonna run this file and go through the installation process. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang out and wait for this to finish, and I'll show you how to run it right after. All right, so it looks like the download's complete. So let's go ahead and click on Easy Diffusion for Windows. Uh, we see Windows protected your PC. We trust this installer, so we're gonna go ahead and click Run Anyway. Make sure you're getting it from the correct GitHub if you're um, doing this, just because you don't wanna get any malicious code or anything. But um, as long as you're getting it from the right one, it's been code checked many times, so you should be fine. Now we can run through the installer. We're gonna go ahead and click on Next. I agree, I agree, Install and we just wait for it to install. All right, so now Easy Diffusion is installed. We're gonna go ahead and leave Run Easy Diffusion 2.5 checked and hit Finish. And you'll see that it starts a new command prompt window and then eventually, once it's done starting, we'll open a uh, Chrome window or whatever browser you happen to use. All right, so now it has opened the browser and we're at localhost 9000. Um, so that's the port it's running on. And we can go ahead and just type any prompt we want here. So photograph of an astronaut riding a horse. And that's pretty much the default prompt. But you can go ahead and adjust a lot of these settings. For example, the image size, how many images we'll make. So let's go ahead and change this to five, for example. Um, and even what drawing style we want them in. We can choose specific drawing styles, visual styles, and things like that. So we're gonna just go ahead and click make five images after changing this to five, and then uh, see what comes up. And as this goes, you'll be able to see the progress. Uh, so every time it finishes an image, it's gonna show the image and then um, continue with the rest of them, which is kind of nice. You can kind of see if it's on the right path or if you should just cancel it and uh, choose a different prompt. And there's our first image. It looks like he's uh, a very American astronaut on a horse. And it's going to keep on creating some more. Now we have another one. That one's kind of cool. And it's going to keep on, you know, making different types of astronauts on horses. Once you uh, find one you like, you can actually iterate on it and choose make similar images. And it'll make more similar images to it. And uh, you can adjust based on that, or you can even draw another 25 steps on those images to improve on it or see where the AI kind of takes it. So let's go ahead and try that. We're gonna choose make similar images on this one and see what it comes up with. We're also gonna draw another 25 steps. So we're gonna get two different images. The first one is gonna be a similar one. Um, as you can see, it's making five similar images right now. That one's a very similar image. So we can see they're, they're just iterations on the same thing. Let's go ahead and stop it. And we're gonna go ahead and choose draw another 25 steps. And now it's going through and adjusting that. And you can see it has a lot more detail now. You might not like the result of it. You might wanna go back to other ones, but you can see how to make different adjustments. If we change it to, for example, a graphic novel and uh, switch this to just create uh, two images. Then we can see what kind of things will come up with in that style. And now we see it in a drawn graphic novel style. Pretty cool. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And uh, let me know if you have any other types of videos you'd like to see me make. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. He keeps it fresh, always bring something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? 